Oh, we're rolling already? Um, howdy there, folks, and welcome to Cooking With um, Me and My Buddy Pyro. Today we'll be showing you all how to make my favorite dessert from my shop. Chess pie really brings back memories of home. The crust we're using is still dough, so we'll be adding some flour to the surface, which we'll be rolling it out on. That way, the dough will stick less when... <laughs> Maybe a little less flour next time, bud. Once you've rolled out your dough out into a nice, fine, large circle, place it into a pie plate, leaving one inch of the dough hanging over the edge. Then you can start folding the crust with your fingers, like so. You wanna make the other half of the fold? Well, <laughs> alright then, Shane. Have a go at it. Wow, Paro. It looks wonderful. Now that that's done, Let's move on to the next step. Now for the pot crust to keep its shape while squishing in the oven. You have to cover it with aluminum foil and fill it with some weights. Like dry beans for example. Now we'll be letting this bake for 4 to 5 minutes at 425 degrees Fahrenheit. And whilst we wait, let's start making the pot filling. Mix together in a large bowl with some sugar, flour, cornmeal, salt, melted butter, milk, vinegar, vanilla, and last but not least, the eggs. Mm. I personally like stirring the eggs together in a separate bowl, adding them in later. I've cracked three eggs already, so Paul, you wanna crack the last one? Mm hmm. Now, tap it gently against the counter. Hmm, maybe you gotta hit the egg a little harder. Maybe I only took out a hard boiled egg. Where'd you even pull the head out from? Oh my goodness gracious! Uh, I'll bring some more eggs and a bowl. Now that the bill and the crust are ready, let the pie bake for 40 to 45 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll go get some jam for the pie. So could you put it in the oven? Mm hmm I'll be back in just a moment, then. This tastes pretty good with jam. Mm. <laughs> Chess pie reminds me of home. 